Um... So today's video I'm going to be unboxing the first doll from a line which I've not unboxed before. I have unboxed a mini version of these dolls but never kind of one of one of the, the, the full the full height doll and that is a Barbie Extra. Here we go. So this one is number um, number seven. I'm looking at the back end of 15, but I think that's how, that's how many items you get with her. So yeah, this is, this is number seven. Um, this was actually gifted to me by Kim from Lindsay's World, so a huge thank you to her. I've not had any of these dolls before. One of the reasons is I don't always really like what they're wearing, and they all seem to be kind of in very much kind of like streetwear, which is fine, but it's not really what I like my dolls in. Um, this one I felt like had a bit of a touch of glamour to her. So yeah, I'm very happy to, to have her. So um, we're going to unbox her. I know that this is probably very late and lots of people have probably unboxed these like donkeys years ago, but um, I'm going to unbox her anyway. Uh, and I'm, I'm very looking, much looking forward to, to getting her out and, and seeing what she's like. So here we go. This is, as I mentioned before, Barbie Extra number seven. Uh, her date is 2020, and I think that she is possibly from the second wave of the dolls, because I think there were six to begin with, and then um, they released more later. So the box is, is very nice, actually. It's got a really nice um, design here. It's similar to what they do, I suppose, with the fashionistas, and they try and put, like, um, an image of, of, the, of, uh, of the doll there. Um, but obviously kind of an, an, an artistic impression of her, I suppose. It's also got one of these, which I think they've all got, and it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got confetti in it. So it's a star shape, and it's got little star silver, silver confetti in there, which is kind of nice because it matches um, the stars which are on her blouse. If we put, put the box over to this side, you can see the the image here. This is basically a close-up of the image that's on the front. And then if we go to the back, this is like the full image of her, you know, the full full body image. We've also got pictures here of the other dolls from, from that wave. She is number seven, so she's here. That would be number six, I'm presuming. I, I don't know. Maybe there weren't six dolls in the first wave. I'm not sure. And then obviously around her, she's got all these kind of accessories and things, which is what she comes with. So according to this, she's got 15 sort of items which she which she comes with. That includes the items she's, she's already wearing. So we'll have to see, and I presume it's the pet as well. And by the looks of it, the pet has got possibly more accessories than she has, but we will have a look. So on the other side of the box, we have an image of the all important pet. I don't know what kind of dog it meant to be. It might be a corgi actually. I'm not sure. Um, so let's get her open. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, but we'll we'll find out. There is like a perforated bit around here. Uh, I'm not sure how successful that's going to be. I might actually just remove, remove the back altogether. Um, so I might do that off camera and then we'll have a closer look at her. Okay, so I got her out of the box, which was kind of okay. I mean, once she's out of the box, you're not getting her back in there. So it's not as if you can take her out of the box, put her back in to display her or anything like that. It's kind of an either or situation. You can either display her in the box and never remove her, or you can remove her from the box and the box is then basically gone. Now, I'm not the most heavy-handed of people, but basically the box is a wreck. Um, it's a bit of a shame because I kind of remember a time when dolls' boxes, you know, you could basically put the doll back in there. But with these, you definitely can't. You can't kind of slide the doll out and then put the doll back in. Um, it's just not, not possible, really. Um, but anyway, 
anyway, it's it's all about the doll, isn't it? So let's have a look at her. Obviously, we've also got this pet thing. Um, now, I've never had one of these dolls before. I know that they all come with pets. I know that certainly for the adult collectors of, of these, the pets are a bit of a contentious issue, mainly because what is the point? But then I suppose kids might really like these pets. I suppose the thing is, is that the pets are very kind of cartoony. They're not kind of realistic in any way. So it's basically like having a cartoon dog with a human, which I guess is okay. However, the other thing is, is that this dog has like three accessories which it probably doesn't need. So we have a pair of blue glasses here, like that. Uh, we have a pair of green glasses, like that. And we also have this little drink, which it's, it's kind of shown to be drinking on, on the packaging. I guess equally, the drink could actually just be for her, but she can't hold it because there's none of those you remember those kind of little widget things on the side of accessories? Uh, you might remember from uh, Bobby's Beach Bar that all those kind of little items have them and you basically could kind of slot it on their fingers. This doesn't have anything. I guess you could use sort of like a, some clear plastic bands to kind of get it into the hand. But it seems a bit of a shame that the dog can quite happily have this, but unfortunately the doll can't even hold it. So anyway, so that is the dog. Um, the dog probably has a name, but I don't really care. So let's pop the dog to one side and we'll put, put its glasses over here. So that is basically four items there. So that is, is considered, I guess, part of the 15. So she also comes with this, which is a sort of a green faux fur stole. So on one side it's fur. And on the other side, it's sort of like green, sort of glittery fabric. I kind of like this. I quite like the colour. I like the fact that you could use either side as well. So, so that's quite clever. Um, she also comes with a bag. So obviously, as this is a Barbie bag, you cannot open it. There's sort of like zipping, sort of drawn on it or, you know, etched in it. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, oh, hold on. Am I lying? Can this actually open? Or is mine just not sealed very well? <laughs> I think it's glued. I think it's glued in, but I think probably with the construction of it. Yeah, so it's glued together, although with mine, kind of, you can, this, this wants to come off almost, but I'm not gonna be peeling it off. So you can see that it's actually hollow inside. So although she would not have been able to put a lot in here, uh, I don't think any of her items would probably fit in there. It would have been nice if it did open, perhaps, but, you know, we're kind of used to this with, with Barbie. So we have that. We also have a pair of sunglasses. Unfortunately, these ones are mirrored, so we can't see the eye. I kind of like it when they're a bit see-through, so you can actually see the eyes of the doll through it, but um, unfortunately that that isn't happening with this. So let's actually look at the doll. So she comes obviously wearing a lot of lot of the stuff as well. She has got on these really nice glittery boots. Silver glittery and they've kind of got like studs sort of um, drawn on, not drawn on them, um, embossed on there I suppose you'd say. They're quite shiny. I, they are quite nice boots. I actually quite like the boots. She also has these black shorts on. So the black shorts are, um, although they are hemmed, there is a uh, kind of loose threads here. So it almost looks like they're kind of cutoffs. There's a fly detail. There's also pockets, which are actually real pockets. So that's quite clever. They've also put a little um, stud here um, on the waistband, obviously to sort of pretend that it is a, um, a button which again is, is quite a nice idea, I think. But they, they basically do it with Velcro and we've got Velcro on the back. They've also um, actually put 
uh, some plastic underneath, presumably so that it doesn't stain the doll, which is, is quite a good idea, because obviously we know that black fabric has a tendency to stain dolls if you're not careful. So, um, she's also got this really lovely kind of purple or sort of violet chiffon blouse and it is covered in uh, black stars. This goes really nicely with these shorts actually because um, the, the contrast of the colours is quite nice. It's also got this sort of strange sort of ruffle thing which we have seen a lot of in recent years mainly on RuPaul's Drag Race. So it's got this sort of chiffon ruffle. It kind of stops around the neck. So there's, it, it's not even like around, around the neckband. It's basically just sort of stops on the shoulders before we actually get, get to the neck part. It is long sleeved. It's actually a really nice piece. It's all fully hemmed and everything. Actually, is that? Oh, okay. So this is made of chiffon. She does actually have like an undergarment, kind of like a little crop top underneath, which is which is this. Just made of purple fabric and that is again all kind of hemmed and everything. I'm trying to see if it is actually separate or not. So yes, it is actually a separate piece. That is actually quite nice as well. Um, I'm not sure if you would use it really as, as anything else other than underneath this. It's nice that they kind of thought about that, the fact that this is so, you know, the fabric is so sheer that you're going to see things. So they put something that would kind of go with it underneath because obviously it's purple. So you won't really notice it so much. She's also got a, a very big ring on her finger here, which kind of has a sort of a jewel in the middle, like a big jewel. And then it's surrounded by sort of little circles. I'm presuming they're probably meant to be like... Um, other jewels perhaps. So that is huge and it basically just covers her whole hand. As you can see it's kind of attached there. But that's quite nice. I've not really come across these kind of rings before for these dolls because obviously I've not had any of these but you know the other Barbies I haven't, haven't had any of them either. She has got then a sort of silver, it's either a bracelet or a watch. I suppose it could be either, but that's quite nice. That's quite sort of a shiny silver, uh, which also goes with these earrings that she has in. So she's got these, these hoop earrings, which don't come out, which is probably, it's probably better that they don't, that they don't actually come out because obviously, you know, small parts and children, they easily get lost. So she has those. She's also got a variety of things around her neck. Now, let me, oh, she's also got some rubber bands there, which I presume are holding these on. So she has sort of like three different necklaces. She has a, um, a sort of gold chain with a star on it. She then has a silver chain with three stars on it and she then has a choker which is basically just kind of like um like a rope chain i suppose around the neck she has a really pretty face and she's smiling which i don't always like but i don't really mind it on her she's also got the um the baby hairs that are drawn around around her her face Again, I'm not a huge fan of those, but I don't mind it so much, I suppose. There are worse things that could that, that you know, she, she could have. Um, her hair, of course, is very sort of like stylized in that it's two ponytails and they've got these different colored rubber bands around them. Hopefully each band isn't included in the, the 15 items that the doll comes with, but we'll, we'll count those up and see. I'm probably not going to be undoing these. The hair actually feels quite nice and soft, so that's a good sign. I'm not gonna bother checking the routing. It seems actually pretty good, to be honest. Her hair is sort of like a, a, a dark brown. Now, one of the interesting things about these dolls is, although they are not on made to move bodies, they are actually a lot more poseable than say the fashionistas. So um, she has got, I'm presuming the legs bend. Now she might have problems with this because, um, let me, 
Let me remove the plastic that's on her because that might be interfering with with her joints. Okay, I'm going to have to remove the shorts and then remove these kind of like depends undergarments that she's wearing. There we go. Okay, so her legs do move. She's actually quite stiff. I'm going to take the shorts off because I'm not sure if there's something weird with the legs. Okay, so one leg goes up. Okay, I think she's just very stiff, to, to be honest. That is not the most flattering of poses, I admit. But she does have the kind of the embossed pants on, the under underwear on. Um, yeah, her legs are really stiff. I don't want to play with them too much. He says as he pulls her leg off, probably. Um, so yeah, so obviously she's got this hip movement here. She's also got a knee, knee bend there. Now, she's also got that weird thing where um, some of the plastic is very shiny and some of it is very matte. So she's got a shiny kind of upper thigh. She's got shiny calves and then she's got this bit here which is kind of like a matte plastic. I don't really understand what that is. So her feet do not have a joint in them, um, which I'm actually quite happy about because I don't always like it when they do have the ankle joint because I'm always worried I'm gonna pull the, pull the foot off. Let's put her shorts back on because I want to cover her modesty. I feel she's, she's probably not enjoying being on show like that. So um, movement wise on her arms, she has got uh, movement on the shoulder. Uh, obviously the arms go back and forth and they also come out, which is great for posing. But she's also got elbow movement, which is also really good. Considering that the fashionistas have barely any movement at all, you know, this this is this is quite this is quite the game changer, isn't it? She's then got movements in the wrist, the the hands similarly to the made to move bodies. The hands are kind of a softer plastic, so the fingers are a little bit sort of malleable. But obviously, you know, you don't you don't fiddle with them too much. And then the head has the kind of the pivot thing, where it's kind of on a ball. So. Obviously you can do a lot more posing with this doll than you would with a fashionista, but you wouldn't be able to do as much as you would be able to do with a, a made to move body. So, you know, she's not got the same posability as a Barbie looks doll or anything like that. But this is still kind of like one up on the fashionistas where they basically are kind of like sort of robots really. So yeah, so she's got these glasses. Let's put these glasses on her and see what we think of that. I'm never 100% sure. I suppose, at least because the glasses are so small, they can kind of go, you can kind of still see the eyes with that. I should also mention that she is um, a, a curvy girl, so she's got, got the curvy body, which is great. So let's count up how many items she comes with. So obviously with, with the dog, that is four items. So it's four, five, six, the glasses, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's at least 15 here. They haven't added, thankfully, the kind of under blouse under here. They haven't included that. And I, don't think, I think the earrings as well, they haven't really included that. So yeah, she, she definitely does have 15 items with her. Admittedly, four of those are pet related or the pet itself. But yeah, I, I guess you can do a lot with this. You do a lot of posing with her and obviously you can sort of give her her stole and stuff like that. You can also pare down the sort of the whole jewellery aspect of it where she doesn't really need this much. Obviously, you know, she's a Barbie extra, so she's OTT kind of with, you know, the jewellery and the fashion and stuff like that. 
But yeah, you can basically take off these. They come up quite, quite easily. And you can just have a single one on. Um, and presumably you can, you can mix and match with the other dolls if you've got more than one of them. She's got a bag as well. So yeah, so this is my first Barbie Extra doll. Um, I have to admit, I do have a few more to unbox, but they will be coming up in later videos. Again, a big thank you to Kim at Winsy's World for, this, for this, this, this doll and my introduction to the Barbie Extra line. So what are your thoughts? Do you have one of these dolls? I, th I think as a first one, she's, she's really nice. And like I say, I don't like all of the dolls and what they wear and stuff like that, but I do really like this one. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, are you a huge fan of the Barbie Extras? Please like, please subscribe, please share. As some of you know, um, after I whined about not having 200 followers, I actually got, got to the 200 mark, so I'm really happy about that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. So take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.